Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to take you through Picter. To get Picter, simply click on the first link in the video description and it will take you to this website. So once you land on the website, let's go to the features section. So we have edit video using text so you can upload a video and edit it by using text. You can create video highlights, you can summarize long videos a script a video and a lot more so we will delve into all of this so to create an account simply click on free trial or you can click on get started for free so let's click on that to sign up for a free account so here you have an option to log in with your google or you can use your email so i'm just going to continue with google so i'll click on continue with google then i'll select the email i want to use to log in so i'll select this email so once you log in, this is the interface you are going to see. So we have the first one, which is script to video, article to video, edit video using text, and visuals to video. So the script to video is recommended for educational videos, listicle videos, coaching videos, and step-by-step -step guides. Then the article to video, if you have a blog post and you want to convert it to a video, or press a list, or any HTML article, then we have edit video using text, so you can add subtitles automatically. You can cut portions of video, you can remove filler words just by using text. And the last one, you can create a slideshow video using existing images and short video clips. We are going to go through all of them, so let's start with the first one, which is script video. So simply click on proceed. So once you click on proceed, this is the interface we are going to see. So here you are going to enter the name of your video, then you are going to type your scripts here. Then we have scene settings. So auto highlight keywords, you can check this, it's very important to check it. Then auto visual selection, so the tool will automatically select the images and videos according to the keywords in your video scripts. So I already have my script, so what I'll do is I'll just copy my script and paste it here. But if you don't have a script, you can use ChatGPT to generate your script. So this is my script. I generated this script using ChatGPT. However, if you look at it, it seems bulky. So let's break them down. Okay, so this is okay now. So once you are okay with your script, then click on proceed. Now, this is the storyboard. This is where we are going to be doing all the editing. So, the first thing you are going to do is to check through your story or your scripts and make any necessary change that you want to make before even proceeding. So, just make sure to go through your script. If you want to change anything, then you can change it. You can just click on it to change it. If you want to link to a uh, scenes, you can use this particular feature. Or if you want to split a screen, Simple bring the cursor to where you want to split. Let's say I want to split from optimizing into a separate scene. So simple bring simple bring your cursor there and click on split screen. So just go through to make sure your script is okay. Now this is the first scene. So if you look at the script here, we have the keyword here is digital marketing. So if you don't like this background, simple come here and search for digital marketing. And these are some suggested videos, so I'll just select any one of them. So to change this background, make sure to select the scene, then click on any of this one. And as you can see, it has replaced the background. So that's how you can change the background image or videos. Also here, we can change the video dimension. It is currently set to landscape, you can change it to portrait or square depending on what you want to use it for so i'm okay with the landscape so make sure to go through all the scenes and make the necessary changes use the keywords and search for the appropriate images or videos here too if you want to search you can filter to images or videos and categories you can select the category you want using this particular using this particular filter so you just go through all the scenes make sure the keywords match the videos or the images you are using. 
So once you are done with the visuals, the next thing you will do is to click on the text here. Then we have a lot of text options. So let's say you want to change the fonts. You, you can simply come here and select the fonts you want. So let's say we want to use this particular font. So just select it and it will apply to your text. Also, if you want to change the font size here, yeah, you can decrease it or increase it. And you can even make your text bold by using the bold function or italic. You can underline it and you can even strike through. So I don't want to do any of this, so I just undo it then. Then here we have, you can make all your text capital letters, small letters. You can capitalize it and you can use this particular one. Also, you can position your text or you can align your text wherever you want. You can change the color of your text and you can change the background of your text. So let's say you want to change it to red. So simply select a red background. And also, if you want to reduce the transparency of the background, drag this to the left and it will change or it will reduce the transparency of your background. So once you are OK, then let's move to the next, which is text width. So you can increase or decrease the width of the text. So let's increase it. And you can see that the width of the text has increased. Or we can make it full width. So you can press here and it will cover the whole width of the video. So let's go back to how it is. So I'm just going to uncheck this. Then I'll bring it. Then I'll bring this down to 70. Also, you can change the position of the text. So as you can see here, it is at bottom center. You can change it to top center. You can change it to this side. You can change it to this side. So the choice is yours. I'm going to leave it at bottom center. So I'll click here to bring it back. Then here we have animations, text animations. If the text is coming in, what animation do you want to apply and at what speed? So if you click here, you have a lot of animations. So maybe you can say typewriter effect. So if you click on it, then when the text is coming in, typewriter effect will apply to your text. And also when the text is going out, which effect do you want to apply? So you can use, let's say, fade out. So I'm going to select this and it will apply to our text. So you can change you can increase or reduce the speed of the animation. So the choice is yours. Then here we have highlight color. If you look at the keywords, the highlight colors are purple. So here you can change you can change the highlight color to any color you want. And once you are done with everything, you can save this as style. So that next time, if next time if you want to use the same style, you don't have to go through and do it manually. You can just apply it automatically. And you can apply this style to all your scenes. So I'm just going to apply to all. So it will apply the same style to all your scenes. But if you don't want to do that, the choice is yours. Now, this is the text option. So once we are done with this, let's go to the next tab, which is audio. So click on audio. And here we have the choice to add background music and voiceover. So to preview any of the music, just click on the play button. Here you can also change the mood, the purpose, the genre, and the duration. Let's say we want the mood to be passionate, so you click on passionate and click on apply. So it will filter and bring out all music that is passionate, that has a mood of passionate. So it will probably just click on this. And if you like it, then you click on apply. So I'm just going to click apply. Also, you can add it to your favorite item. So the next time when you want to use it, you don't have to search for it. Now, once the music is applied, let's go to voiceover. So the voiceover is divided into two. We have premium voices and we have standard voices. Premium voices is for only paid users, but it has the best voices. But we are using the free version, so we are going to use standard voices. So we just click here, then it will bring out the standard voices. So we have over, we have about 60 voices here. So to preview, just click on the play button. So click here. Welcome to Pictory. It has been shown that video. So if you like the voice, then click on apply. So our voiceover have been added successful.
Now this one is very important, so click on it. And here you have the option to increase or decrease the volume of the background music or the voiceover. So the volume of the background music should always be lower than that of the voiceover. So you can change it to whatever you want, but I'll just leave it as it is. Now let's go to the next tab, which is text. So here you can add heading, but you should know that the heading will not be included in the voiceover. You can add subheading, you can add a body text. So maybe if you want to do an intro, so you can use the, you can use this option, but I'm not going to touch it. Then we have elements. If you want to add emojis or gifs, so let's say you want to add this emoji, so just click on it, then it will be applied to your video. So you can click on it to change the position. So you can change it here. You can duplicate it. You can copy to all scenes and you can delete it. I don't want it, so I'm just going to delete it. So you just go to it and select the one you want. Then we have styles. So styles, these are all text styles. So let's say you want to apply these text styles. Let's say you want to apply this text style to the text we have here. So you simply click on it and it will be applied to it. So as you can see, the background has changed and it has changed the style of the text. And here we have my styles. So if we, if you save any text style, this is where you are going to find it. Then the last one we have branding. So to create a brand, so stay on brand with one click. So here you can add your logos, your fonts, so that you don't have to do everything manual, but we are not going to do that. So once you are okay with everything, just click on preview to see how your video is. Also, let me mention this, we have transitions. So if you want to add transitions between two scenes, just click here. Let's say I want to apply any of these transitions. Let's say I want to apply wipe left. So I'm just going to click on it and it will be applied to our scene. So here you have the option to change the transition and you can apply this transition to the entire video. So if you click on this one, it will apply the transition to the entire video. You can also remove transition and you can remove all transitions in the video. So just go to the and make the, the necessary changes. So once you are done with everything, you can click on preview to see how your video will look before downloading. But I'm not going to waste your time with that. So I'm just going to click on download and here I will click on video. our video is ready so here we have the option to copy the link you can export the video and you can export the test but we are just going to click on download so click on download and our video will be downloaded so that's the first part of the tutorial